Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. Today we're in North Anderson Drive Fire Station in Aberdeen where FBU General Secretary Matt Rack has been meeting with the North Area FBU Brigade Committee. Matt, today we're going to talk about two issues which impacted on the pay campaign and which I know are of great concern to you and that is namely threats against one, strike action, the ability of firefighters to take strike action and two, very importantly of course, collective bargaining. Why are these two issues under threat and why are they so important for us in the context of pay? Tom, I think it's important that FBU members appreciate how we reached the settlement. Our members voted by 96% to settle the dispute. But first of all, we had the right to take a dispute. So it was clearly the unity and determination of members which shifted our employers, including the right to take strike action and the overwhelming votes that members took to take strike action if necessary. Now fortunately we weren't uh, required to take that strike action, we reached a settlement without taking strike action, but the right and ability to take strike action was absolutely essential to what we did. Uh, and that is under threat as I'll come on to. And secondly, how we negotiated that settlement mm -hmm is through what's called collective bargaining. Essentially it means we sit across the table from our employers, and that's the UK-wide employers. And if uh, FBU members look at what's happening elsewhere in the public sector, millions of workers now are covered by these so-called pay review bodies, which are government-appointed bodies. Uh, there aren't any negotiations. The, the, the pay review body hears evidence and then makes a recommendation and that is how pay is determined. So there is not what we have, the sitting across the table and negotiating with the employer. Uh, and frankly, if we'd had a pay review body in the fire service, I think we would have been on strike last uh, September. So the, the two things, the, the right to collective bargaining and the right to strike have been absolutely essential. I think it's important that all members understand the absolute uh, vital nature of those two elements. Yeah. And they are under attack because the uh, the right to collective bargaining, in England at least, is under threat from the white paper on fire because they are looking at uh, our rights to collective bargaining through the National Joint Council, including considering replacing it by imposition of a pay review body. And secondly, the right to strike is under threat because of the legislation which is currently going through the Westminster Parliament, which is the Strikes Minimum Service Level Bill, a really fundamental threat to our, our rights and the rights of other workers. Now, Mike, you talk about the right to strike. It's basically a human right, isn't it? Why on earth are firefighters getting targeted in this way, in your view? Look, I think it's absolutely clear the, the Conservative government has no mandate for this. It wasn't in their manifesto in relation to firefighters, health staff, teachers and so on. Uh, it is a response to the fact that workers are sick to the back teeth of attacks on pay and we've seen the strike action spreading across the UK over the past uh, few months uh, and it's a direct attack on those workers who are seeking to uh, defend their living standards. So actually you've got a government in Westminster that wants to drive down wages and also wants to stop workers protecting themselves to defend their living standards and to defend their wages. That's, that's what's driving this. And to do so, you're right, they want to take away human rights and democratic rights, the democratic right to take strike action. OK, well, I understand this is getting passed through legislation. The right to collective bargaining is under attack through a white paper. The right to take strike action is through separate legislation, the Minimum Services Bill, whatever it's called. What's the union doing about combating this and what can members do to assist? Well, what I want to alert people to is, first of all, to read the union's material on this, which will be in Firefighter magazine, on the website, in circulars and so on, to make sure we're all familiar with the provisions of this legislation or the proposals in the white paper. Uh, secondly, that actually coming out of our pay campaign and the settlement we've achieved in the pay campaign, that's not, there's no letting up. We've got a lot of work to do on pay, but we've also got now a huge amount of work to do to defend our rights because you can see what employers will do in the future. If they think our bargaining power has been weakened, if they think our right to strike has been weakened by changes in the law, then we're back where we started from. Uh, we're back with the 0% the and the 1% and the 2% pay offers. So there's a direct link between what we do now, the campaign in the union needs to do on this issue, 
and actually how much pay we have in our uh, pay packets. Okay, so it's a case of alerting members, be ready to get uh, involved in this campaign and support the union in its aims, yeah? Absolutely, and, and uh, we're calling on other unions, we're calling on the TUC, the Scottish TUC and so on, to, to take a real lead. This needs to be a massive campaign across the entire trade union movement to say to the government, we're not having it, we're not going to accept this, and we will take you on and we will challenge you all the way on it. Matt, thanks very much indeed. Well, for more updates on this very important issue, these two very important issues, you can go to our website. That's www.fbu.org.uk. Or for more immediate updates, you can also follow us on Twitter, simply at FBU National. Till next time, thanks for joining us. And Matt, thanks very much indeed. Thanks, Tam. Thanks, everyone.